Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's question paper is Formative Assessment 2, 2023 24, Subject Mathematics, Class 9th. That year, that is in the year 2023 24, the FA2 was conducted only for 20 marks and the time given was 45 minutes. This year, the pattern is changed. The question paper will be given for 35 marks. But this question paper will be very useful for practice purpose. That's why this question paper is brought to you. So the first question is solve the following problems. This is section 1. Here four problems are given. Each one carries one mark. Which of the following are complementary angles? Complementary angles are angles whose sum is 90 degrees. So here of the given four options, B is correct. So the answer is B. The cost of a notebook is twice the cost of a pen. Write a linear equation in two variables to represent this statement. The cost of a notebook is twice the cost of a pen. So here we can write let the cost of a pen is equal to x and the cost of a notebook is equal to say y then the cost of the notebook is equal to twice the cost of a pen so y is equal to 2x and you can write this as y minus 2x is equal to 0 this is the required equation next how many lines can pass through a single point so passing through one point we may draw in this way infinite number of lines so here the answer is infinite Infinite lines can be drawn passing through a single point. What are the names of horizontal and vertical lines drawn to determine the position of any point in the Cartesian plane? The answer is x-axis and y-axis. x-axis and y-axis. x plus the linear equation x minus 4 is equal to root 3y in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, the above given equation can be written as x minus root 3 y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, if we compare with ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, here we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus root 3 and c is equal to minus 4. In the figure, if AC is equal to BD, then prove that AB is equal to CD. So, here it is given that AC is equal to BD. AC is equal to BD is given. But AC has two parts, A to B one part and B to C another part. So, therefore, AC can be written as AB plus BC. And in the same way, this BD from this point to this point, it can be written as the sum of two line segments BC plus CD. So, this is BC plus CD. So, BC, BC being equal on both sides can be cancelled. We will get AB is equal to CD. So, AB is equal to CD that is required. Write any four solutions of the equation 2x plus y is equal to 7. So the given equation is 2x plus y is equal to 7. To get solutions, you can give value for x, you can get value for y and each ordered pair gives one solution. So here let me take x is equal to 0. So when I substitute x is equal to 0, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus y is equal to 7. So y is equal to 7. So 0 comma 7 or 0 7 is a solution. So in the same way by taking x is equal to 1 and substituting in this one. So 2 times 1 plus y is equal to 7. So 2 plus y is equal to 7. Then y is equal to 7 minus 2 5. So here the other solution is x is equal to 1, 
y is equal to 5 or we can write it in the form of an ordered pair as 1 5 and to get another solution you can give different value for x uh, let me take negative value x is equal to minus 1 when x is minus 1 2 times minus 1 plus y is equal to 7 so minus 2 plus y is equal to 7 then y is 7 plus 2 9 so the solution is minus 1 9 it is one solution and in the same way one more solution is needed so to write let me take x is equal to 2 2 is not taken so far so 2 times 2 plus y is equal to 7 so 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus y is 7 4 plus y is 7 means y is equal to 3 so the solution here is 2 comma 3 so in this way four solutions i have calculated by giving different values for x and obtaining the corresponding values for y so if needed you can write different values and you can get different values of y so infinitely many solutions you will get of these four solutions are written here so locate the points 2 comma 0 5 comma 4 0 comma 4 3 minus 3 comma 2 minus 2 comma minus 3 0 comma minus 3 and 2 comma minus 3 on the Cartesian plane in your answer sheet that means in the graph paper we have to plot these points or we can attempt this problem in which it is given that x y is a line segment that is this one and m n is also a line I'm sorry not line segments lines they intersect at the point o it is given that angle p o y this p o y is 90 degrees and a is to be these two angles a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 then find c is given so in this problem here it is clearly given that x y is a line in this way and o p this y o p y o p is given to be 90 degrees and this side the other angle should be 90 degrees so that complete angle it becomes 180 degrees so here this is 90 degrees but in the diagram it is given that angle a plus angle b is 90 in this way so angle a plus angle b is equal to 90 degrees but the ratio is given that a is to b is 2 is to 3 whenever a is to b is 2 is to 3 we can take that a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 3x so angle a is 2x and angle b is 3x we can take and this is equal to 90 degrees so when 5x is 90 degrees we have to calculate x x is 90 divided by 5 we get 18 so the value of x is 18 when x is known angle a and angle b can be said angle a is 2 times x so 2 times 18 36 degrees and angle b is 3 times x or 3 times 18 which gives 54 degrees so that means here this angle b is 54 degrees 54 degrees and next one is this is the straight line mn given so on this straight line at this point o this angle is 180 degrees so that means angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees in which b is known 54 degrees so c is 180 minus 54 degrees so after subtraction 6 and here it is 7 minus 5 2 and 1 126 degrees is the value of the angle c so this is the question paper previous year's question paper and it is with solutions i have brought for practice purpose so you can go through this question paper so practice well and write the fa2 exam in the month of october 2025 wish you all the best wish you good luck thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel so far please subscribe it